Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I will show you how you can move from one activity to the next in Android Studio. It's going to be very easy, no complicated at all, and I'll also show you how you can put it on a real device just like this. Without further ado, let's get started into this episode. Welcome back guys, so as you can see we've got an empty Android Studio project here, the only thing we've got is one main activity and one activity main XML file, so that's just a UI for it. Now the first thing I'm going to be doing before I even add anything else is I'm just going to go to the hello world over here and I'll change it to just saying first page, just like this. Awesome. And let's just put it on the same line. After that let's go back to the design and I want to add just one button underneath the first page and we're going to use that button to navigate from one page to the other. So I'm just going to drag a button and I'm just going to put it right underneath over here. There we go. I'm not going to worry too much about constraints. Uh, in fact I'm going to remove it and maybe just connect it to that one. And for the button let's just connect it from that page right here. And that way we can just have them just like this. Nothing, nothing too, nothing, nothing too complicated. Um, after that, now that we have that button, we can go ahead and we can also change it from saying button to just saying uh, to next page. And now we've got a button that says to next page. There we go. Again, it will look ugly. That's not the idea of this tutorial. Um, we're just trying to basically navigate from one page to the other. Awesome. So now that we've got this, what I'm going to do is I'll also change the ID of the button to something else. I'll say to next. And the only reason I'm just changing the ID is actually this one changes as well. So I'll change it here first to next. And over here we can come and we can say to next. And that way this button has the ID, so we're going to be referring to it in the main activity. After this, what I'll do is I'll create a new UI, so I'm, a new page, sorry. So I'm going to go to main activity. I'll click on it. I'll right click. And I'll click on new. I'll go all the way to activity. And I'm just going to select empty activity. Let's go ahead and select that. Let's just give it a name. I'll leave it as it is main activity 2. That's what it is. And I'll also leave the layout name as well. And I'll click on finish. Once it generates it for us, it will create a main activity too. So that's just our second file. And now we also have our second UI file as well. So over here, all I'll be doing is I'll be dragging a text view onto the page. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and call it, instead of just saying text view, what I'll be doing is I'll call it second page just like this and that means that when we go to this page we'll know that it's the second page because it will say second page cool so now that we've got both our UI done it's very basic I know what we can do is we can go to main activity the first one main activity one and we're gonna be refer creating a reference to our button so I'm just gonna give us some space here when what I will do is I'll simply type in button and then let's just give it a name. I'll simply call it next BTN for next button. And I'll put my comma. And I, maybe I can just increase the font a little bit. After that, what I will be doing is I will actually try to refer back and link that button with the UI button that we created. So to do this, all I'll be doing is I'll simply say next button. And then I'll say it's equal to, and I'll say find view by ID. Inside of here, I'm going to say R dot ID dot and here we can actually refer back to that button that we to the ID that we refer that we called the button to so we called it to next so I'm just gonna copy it because it has to be exactly the same and then I'll paste it and then I'll put a semicolon and now it's done so now the next button inside of our main activity always refers to that button that we created over here so now let's give that button some action so I'm just gonna go over here and all I'm going to do is I'll simply say next button dot set on click listener, that one. Inside of here, we are basically going to say new view on click listener and click on enter. And it created this for us. 
Now, everything inside the on click, so everything inside these two brackets, is going to be executed once someone clicks on our button. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Once someone clicks on this button, everything inside these brackets is going to be executed. So all we need to do now is simply type in some code inside this bracket that will make it work. So I'll simply type in intent and then intent with a small i and I'll say equals to new intent. Inside of here we are basically going to be saying get application get application context and then a comma and then we're going to type in which class we actually want to navigate to. In our case we want to go to this class that says main activity 2. So I'm going to go over here and I'll say main activity two dot class and then we are going to be putting a comma. So now we've identified where we actually want to travel to or where we want to go to. Now what we want to do is actually go to that area. So all we're going to do is simply type in start activity and then we're going to be passing that intent that we just created over here by simply typing intent. There we go. So that's actually all the code needed in order to go to the other page. Now all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running this code and I'll show you whether or not it works. All right, so it's time to actually run this app on a real Android device. Now I always run it on a real device, but if you don't have that, you can just set it up as a simulator and run it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on run and let's get me back up here and I'll show it to you exactly what happened. So as you can see, we've got the normal screen that we created, obviously because we didn't set constraints just like that. By now, if I click on to next page, so I will do that. As you can see, it does take us to the second page. There we go. And you can obviously go back using the default buttons and you can click on to next page and it will take you to the next page straight away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode and I hope to see you in the next episodes as well.